Hello everyone and welcome back. Besides me, I have my 2003 Porsche Cayenne Turbo 955. This is Porsche's first SUV, and I suppose you could also say it's its first luxury vehicle. Uh, as a result of that, that means this car's got many weird and wonderful features. Some that I found on the internet and some that I found just spending lots of time with the car. So I thought, why not share this with you guys and, and have a little walk around and show you all the weird and wonderful features this car has. Okay, we'll start off with a feature that I think most people know, and it's the key. This is the key fob for the car. And look, it's got headlights just like the Porsche does, just a bit, so it mimics the car. I think that's a really cool touch. But let's go inside and unravel the other features we have in the car. Next up, if we come to the armrest and lift up the second compartment, you will find a rubber mat. And if you lift up the rubber mat, you will also find this metal tool. And what that metal tool is for is actually the sunroof. So if the sunroof stops working, you can take off this plastic piece of trim and you can close the sunroof manually with the metal tool. Next up, we have the parking sensors. So you have the parking sensors at the front there, and you also have the parking sensors in the rear and they beep very loud. So you might want to turn them off. Um, usually it's down here in a regular car, but they're actually positioned up here to turn off the parking sensors where the sunglass holders is. Whilst we're here, we also have these weird buttons. This is something I had to find out on the internet. Uh, that is actually for, in fact, uh, for your garage. You can link this car to your garage and those buttons will be assigned to any garage door. I suppose you've got three garages to choose from if your house is that big. So yeah, that's a pretty cool feature. You just press one of the buttons and then the garage door will open. Next up, we have this feature, which I think is my favorite feature in the whole car. So this is a sun visor, not so useful in the UK, but as you can see, it retracts and comes to the side, which is a brilliant feature. But then you're also presented with another one and that is fantastic, but not as fantastic as this. So if that's not enough, you can also even retract this little mini one. And well, if that's not enough, as you see, I'm not sure you can see in camera, but there's even this little sun strip, which I'm not sure is standard, but I think it is. And that is a brilliant feature. And I remember my grandmother used to have this in a Rover 25. It's, a, it's like a blue shade. Uh, yeah, so you're definitely protected from the sun in this car. Next up, we have this brilliant feature. So imagine it's been a long, hot, sweltering day and oh no, we've all done it. We've left all the windows open. So fear not if you get your key and put it into the barrel and then hold it to the left. All the windows should start going up magically and look, all four windows going up and I didn't even have to get into the car. If we come to the glove box and open it up, you will find that it actually has air con. So you can have chocolate milk in there and keep it refrigerated. Whilst we're at the glove box, if you come down here, you have some two very, very hidden 12 volt sockets. So coming to the steering wheel, as you can see, there are some buttons and if you press them, they click. But you can also click it from the back, which is quite a weird um, feature. And also you have some buttons behind the steering wheel, as you can see here on this side. And you also have it on the other side as well. And what that does is, well, when it's nighttime and it's very dark, you press the button and it illuminates all the lights in the steering wheel, which is quite a subtle but nice feature. If you come to the rear of the boot and you go to the wiper, there's a button underneath here. If you lift it up, it's quite heavy. You have a split tail tailgate, which is absolutely brilliant. I love this feature. And then if you open it up, you are surprised. So when you lift up the tailgate, it says Porsche on the inside of the glass. Whilst we're here, as you can see, there are some cubby holes for lots of storage areas. And if you come to the other side, you also have this cubby hole here. And if you come inside, you have this, which plays CDs, which means you can put like, I don't know, 10 Ramstein CDs in there and they can all put in there. It's quite an old feature, but I thought it was pretty fun. Then if we come down here, you lift up the boot floor, you have the bows subwoofer and over here we have the air suspension canister and i'm more on that in a minute because i've got something really interesting to show you next up if we come to the rear left seat you'll find this grabby hole and if you pull it 
very aggressively and then lift up the cushion, you will find this bag. And then if you open up the bag, you will be presented with this tire pressure kit. Now, if we come up to the bottom of the driver's door, you will find this valve. And that valve is for the tire pressure kit, which feeds off of the air compressor. So if you face some very perilous terrain or your road abruptly ends, you can use the tire pressure kit to feed off of that tire valve and you can inflate or deflate your tires to your heart's content to suit the adverse terrain you face. Then whilst we're down here at the driver's seat, you will find this little cubby hole and if you pull it out, you're presented with a fire extinguisher. So if your car spontaneously starts to combust, uh, then you can put the fire out immediately. And what's even more impressive about the fire extinguisher is that it's even got its own personal name. It's called Gloria. Next up, we come to the seat base and you'll find various different uh, buttons for your electric seat. But you also have this, this little button here, up or down. And what this does is controls the height of the seat belt. So if you're really short or really tall, then you'll always have a comfortable position and you won't be suffocating. Lastly, we have this feature. So if you have bi-xenons and you hold down the screen washer fluid hold long enough, you should get a spray of water or spray of a liquid on your headlights. And that's of course if your lights are on because if it's dark and then you get dirt and it'll clean it. But yeah, just another interesting feature to have in your Porsche Cayenne. So there we have it, everyone. I really hope you've enjoyed these fascinating features as much as I have. If there's any that I missed out, then please do let me know down in the comments below. But other than that, thank you very much for watching and bye for now. Did it work? Yes.